My laboratory, uh, where I spend most of my work, is located at Harvard Medical School and um, in involves a study of the genetic basis of MS, as well as developing novel measures to understand uh, the function of people affected with MS. There are two central questions in MS that attract my interest. The first is primary prevention of MS. So this is the, the, the idea that we can hopefully eventually develop a, a medication or an intervention that prevents the transition of somebody at risk of developing MS into having the disease proper. My second goal is, uh, is shared by many of my colleagues, which is how can we stop neurodegeneration in MS? We've been able to interrogate things like the human genome at a very large scale, at an unprecedented scale even 10 years ago. And so instead of asking very specific questions, we're able also to ask uh, important questions much more broadly to say, out of the entire human genome with over 20 million different variants present that are common, which of those variants are involved in MS? I'm inspired to do this work really because we're in an unprecedented, I think, stage uh, for biomedical research. The new technologies that have emerged over the past decade are really unprecedented and they're accelerating, particularly in, in genomic sciences. And so we're really at a cusp of, uh, of development scientifically where we can ask questions that we could never ask before. The big challenge is understanding how, where somebody is in the course of their disease and how well they're doing. Because once we better understand where each person is in their disease and the, how well they're doing, that's when we'll be able to relate those measures to the scientific measures that we already have today. But again, with all the new technology that's coming out, this, I think, will be solved in the next few years. We're beginning to understand how this disease affects uh, the next generation. Most of the children of people with MS will never develop MS. Some of them will. But again, we're making progress towards a world where we hopefully will have a way to prevent MS from starting. There is such uh, excitement in the community, the scientific community, for studying MS, and so many great leads currently uh, in terms of the scientific work on disease progression and neurodegeneration MS that you know, there's a sense of excitement that something will happen um, within the next five years.